Welcome to chrislanford.co.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode is looking at a freeway and using frames in freeway. Frames are one of those things that come in and out of fashion uh, at various times and some people say you should use them, some people say you should never use them. Really it's up to you and it's up to the particular website that you're developing uh, and what you want to do with it. The advantage of frames is it allows you to have a variety of pages uh, visible on a single browser window uh, and these can be pages within your site or they can be pages from other people's sites so you can link to somebody else's site and still maintain some of your brand identity within it so rather than clicking on a link to a new uh, page or a new tab in the browser uh, it will link within your actual interface design so using it is up to you um, it's quite likely in the future that some versions uh, of browsers won't support frames and some browsers don't support frames at the moment but you can have a system where uh, it automatically generates an HTML page of the whole frame set uh, if you're using it when people can't view frames and Freeway does that for you automatically. One thing I would say is when you're developing a frame set at the moment use HTML code uh, as your uh, preferred option. XHTML uh, works very well in some browsers but certainly the latest version of Firefox doesn't allow XHTML uh, frame sets within it although Safari and, and other browsers do so when in doubt I would say stick to HTML4 uh, for this uh, exercise so we've got a new frame a uh, new page in Freeway here uh, we start off with an untitled page at master page one uh, but we don't need that one so I'm just going to delete that page uh, so we can start uh, with a, a fresh uh, setup. So what we want to do to access frames is we can go to the window and go down to frames and up comes this frames window. We can also access it from the page menu and we go down to frames and we would just start off by going to new frame set. Both will give the same option. But here if we click on new up come these frame sets uh, that we have as standard uh, formats. The main thing is the most standard one is this one here which we're going to use which has a banner across the top and a navigation menu down the right hand side you could have the banner at the bottom and on the left hand side or on the right hand side it's up to you just choose one which you think is roughly representing the layout that you want uh, to work with and you can modify it uh, afterwards uh, as well so we're going to choose this one it's very much like a table layout and we just click OK and up come all the pages that we work with. So the first thing is we've got the one that's selected at the moment which we see where we can see this sort of table kind of layout which is in its default setting and then we have the three pages which are going to appear within that frame set. So we have uh, an upper one uh, which is up here uh, where we put everything there which is there and we have a left one which is this one down here and we have our main one which is where we're going to put all the content for our pages uh, in there. So the first thing we want to do is to put some content on those pages. So if we just click on the page we want, upper, we can close that off now. And I'm going to uh, change this page size to be 770 uh, across. And I'm now going to insert a graphic banner uh, into this. So same as importing any picture, I'm going to file import or I'm pushing a command E on the keyboard and I'm just going to click on my document uh, to bring it in which is my standard banner from there so and I know that this image is 129 high because I've worked with it before uh, you can go into Photoshop and check that if you want or you can just go to item and fit box to content and it will tell you as well now on our top upper banner uh, we've got all this spare page which we don't really need and I find it just tidy just to clear that off so we keep the page size exactly the same size as the banner so I'm going to change that to be 129 uh, as well now when we go back to our frame set which gives our overview you can see there that our banner uh, has appeared but it's sort of range left so we've sort of got this sort of extra bit of space there so what I'm going to do is go into here and I'm going to align it to be in the center and I'm going to give it a um, a background color uh, and I'll give the background color um, we'll give it a, a black color just for this example uh, here 
So now when I preview it, the preview, uh, you can see that we've got a black background. This doesn't show the full layout effect, uh, it just shows you uh, what it will roughly be. So now we're going to go on to the left page. So again, I'm going to import some pictures. So these are going to be my buttons. So I'm just going to draw a box and I'm going to import uh, the pictures. So in comes the picture and I just go to fit box to content and you can see that the height is 30. Now I've got another three buttons to add so the easiest way is to duplicate it so that's a command D and I want three copies at 30 pixels high so I just go down and then I can just click on each individual button and import uh, a different picture uh, to it. Now these could have rollovers, they can have all sorts of uh, other effects on them, it's up to you what you do, but I'm just going to keep to a standard uh, single button image just to make it faster at this point. You can see the rollover tutorial for it as well. Now here we can see that our button is 100 pixels wide, uh, so again I'm going to change the page size to be a width of 100 and I'm going to keep this as a, a white background uh, for, for here. So if we go to the frame set we can see what it looks like here. So let's have a look at it in the browser. So we're going to look at it in Firefox. Just ignore that message because it will work. And here you can see that we've got the banner centered uh, with black background and our buttons down here uh, as well. Now we've got this border showing at the moment. That helps me show you where the frame sets are but we can remove those uh, very simply. We just click on uh, the frames and on the inspector you just show borders and turn that off. You can also change the size of the borders with the border widths uh, if you want. Now because I'm not seeing all the top banner at the moment because I just need to manually uh, change uh, this border I just need to move it down uh, until it's where I want it to be so I get rid of any excess border uh, at that point. So like so. So we should end up uh, with our perfect size. So let's view it again now and we should see no border and it should be a lot cleaner uh, looking design from there. So that's lovely. So what we want to do now is to add some content into our main page. So this is our main page here. So what I tend to do is think about what is the page size that I want this to be. So a bit of maths. I know the width of the buttons is 100 so and I want the width to be 170 as a standard so I need the page of this to be uh, 670 there and I'm just going to put some text uh, into there uh, as an HTML text, some standard welcome text that I have uh, on other exercises. So when I view it again there we are, now I can work in here so I can rearrange it so that it looks uh, nice and welcome in there. So when we preview it again we'll have uh, all the pages showing uh, of where we are so that, that's marvellous so that's what we want we can play around and tweak it as we want later on but uh, that's uh, what I want at the moment so I'll just close all those off for me now to make some interaction we need a home button so I'm going to make button 1 to be a home button so I'm just going to change that and tell it I want it to link back to Untitled 3 which is the frame set so to avoid confusion I'm just going to name this frame set so we know where we are and the untitled are the uh, other pages. Button 2 we want to link to another page so the best way of doing that is if I go to the hyperlink command which is a command K uh, and I want to go to an external site and I want it to be an HTTP uh, so I'm going to go to www.softpress.com and I want to tell it the target that I want it to appear in. So which of the windows do I want it to appear in? So we have our standard uh, parent that we want to replace the original page, we want it to appear on top to make a new tab or we want a new blank page or to appear within itself but we also have the windows that we want it to appear in. So I want to change the main content uh, there. So we we'll click OK and again button 3 I'm just going to make another external con connection here and I'm going to go to my website uh, there and choose the target uh, for the main and we go there. So if we go back to our preview up it 
comes and if I push button 2 up will come Softpress's website within my main interaction system. Notice that it has scroll bars so you can see uh, you can scroll down the page vertically and horizontal because their page is obviously bigger and that's a disadvantage to this is that uh, it does come up with their full page and if I go to button 3 it will link to my uh, home page uh, as well so you can click uh, within it. Yeah, button 4 I haven't got a link but if I go back to button 1 um, oh, I've got the target wrong uh, on that so because it's coming up with it within there so go back to the left click on button 1 and I want it to go to frame set but what I didn't do is tell it what target I want it so I go back to there choose main and then OK so remember the targets are very important uh, when working with frame sets so we preview it again again we go to uh, soft presses website we go to my website and now I should have the target right and it should go straight back but what I've got here is I've told it to go to the whole frame set so it's made another frame set within a frame set so we go back and we can change it again so you can be quite creative in what you want to do with this so what I want is it not to be the frame set I want it to be the main page and now we should be OK to preview it all again and this time it should work so just to show how the targets are important and the flexibility that you can link in other people's frame sets as well and now we go back and it just changes the content uh, appropriately from that by pushing the buttons so that's frame sets it takes a little bit of playing around with for you uh, to get it right but it's a very useful feature if you want to link to external sites within your uh, system so well thank you for coming to chrislinford.co.uk you can also find me on youtube and itunes and i'll see you again for another episode